We've reached Midgar. Cloud, Midgar's on high alert. There's no way we can just slip through the slums. I think all transportation in the slums have been cut off as well. Hey, hey! What do you think we have the highway for? Where are we now? Huh? Where are we? If land's not an option, let's go by air! Okay. We'll parachute into Midgar. Should I change party members for the descent? No. Here we go! We skedaddle. We've become well acquainted with the Midgar Underground, haven't we? This must be it. Well, let's be going. What are you doing? What are we gonna do? I think we can ignore our orders at this point. Elena, don't act so spoiled, eh? We're Turks. I understand. You're right. Come on, we've got a job to do. 
I'm not really up for this, but... Yeah. Our orders are to find you and... kill you. The company may be in tatters, but it orders an order. That's the spirit of the Turks. Believe it! this. I know we have a weird relationship, but we have to end this. Like Turks. Try this on for size! something. Ultima! Ultima! Fuck! That hurt! You're going down! I had enough of your sorry ass! Let's call it a day. You serious? Yeah. <laughs> They're here. They're here. <laughs>
You've taken us for complete fools up to now, haven't you? Just look what you did to my cute soldiers! <laughs> Let's see how you do against this anti-weapon artillery! You're no match for my creation, but like it or not, you're getting a taste of it. I'll show you the destructive power of the Proud Clad! Lightning! Let's just get this over with. Calling lightning. Get fried. I don't have time for you. Lightning! Make it easy on yourself and give up now! Run!
curse him. Hojo. Hey, this is... That's the ticket! I'm coming, Hojo! Hojo! Stop right there! Oh, the failure. At least remember my name. It's Cloud! Seeing you made me realize my own limitations as a scientist. I concluded that you were a failure. And yet, you are the only successful Sephiroth copy. <laughs> I'm even beginning to hate myself. <laughs> None of that matters. Just stop this madness! Madness? Oh, this? <laughs> Sephiroth is in need of energy. I shall be contributing what little I can spare. Why? Why would you do that? Why? Why? My, you are persistent. Hmm, you know? You may very well have the potential to be a scientist. Energy level at 83%. This is taking too long. My son requires power. That is the only reason. Your son? <laughs> Although he doesn't know it. <laughs> Can you imagine what Sephiroth would think if he were to discover that I am his father? Always looking down on me. <laughs> Sephiroth is your son? <laughs> I offered the woman pregnant with my child to Professor Gast's Genova project. Sephiroth was still in the womb when Genova cells were... <laughs> I can't believe you would do such a thing. So is this your way of atoning for what you did to Sephiroth? No, 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 you're mistaken. I am simply satisfying my scientific curiosity. <laughs> I have been... overwhelmed by my drive as a scientist. Just as I was back then. I have injected Genova cells into my own body. Allow me to. <laughs> Share my results. I'm not interested. <laughs> Ultima! Now let's see how the Mako juice is reacting.
almost felt sorry for him. Well, that's the end of the cannon. Shinra is finished. Meteor's gonna fall in about... Seven more days. That's what Grandpa said. Hey, Nanaki! You want to see everyone in Cosmo Canyon again, don't you? Yes. And you want to see Marlene? No need to ask me that. If we don't defeat Sephiroth and release Holy within seven days, there won't be a planet left to save. If we don't defeat Sephiroth, we're dead. We'll just go a few days before the rest who will all die from Meteor. Sounds like you've given up before the battle's even started. Never. I... How can I put it? What are we all fighting for? That's what I want you to understand. To save the planet? For the future of the planet? Sure, that's obvious. But is that all there is to it? For me, this is a personal battle. To defeat Sephiroth and lay my past to rest. Saving the planet just happens to be a part of that. I've been thinking. We're all fighting for ourselves. For ourselves, and that someone, something, whatever it is that's important to us. That's why we continue to fight for the planet. It's true. Saving the planet sounds pretty cool. But all I ended up doing was bombing the reactor. Looking back on it now, that was a really crappy way of doing things. I made a lot of friends and innocent people suffer. At first it was revenge against Shinra for taking my whole town from me. But now, yeah, I'm fighting for Marlene. For Marlene. For Marlene's future. Yeah. I guess I'm doing all this for her sake. Go and see her. Make sure that's how you really feel. All of you, leave the ship and find your reasons for fighting. I want you to be clear about your motivations. Come back here when you've thought it through. Maybe none of us will come back. Not me. If Meteor's gonna kill us all anyway, what's the point in fighting a lost cause? I know the reason I'm fighting. It's to save the planet. But within that, there's something personal. Deeply personal. What about you? I want you all to find that special something within yourselves. If you can't, there's nothing left to say. You can't fight without a reason, right? So if you don't come back, I'll understand. What are you going to do, Tifa? Did you forget? I'm all alone. I don't have anywhere to go. Everyone's gone. Yeah, but we don't have anywhere or anyone to go home to. You're right. But they'll... they'll come back, won't they? Hmm. Who knows? Each of them has something or someone they can't afford to lose. And this time, our enemy. At least, I can accept that, even if no one comes back. As long as I'm with you, as long as you're by my side, I'll never give up, no matter how afraid I am. <sighs> Tifa. We were always so distant from one another up until now, no matter how close physically, but in the live stream, Surrounded by all those screams of sorrow, I thought I heard your voice. <sighs> yep. 
you probably don't remember this, but deep down, I heard you calling my name. That's what it felt like. Yeah. I think I heard your voice too, back there. Cloud, do you think the stars can hear us too? Are they watching over us? Do they know how hard we're fighting? I don't know, but whether they do or not, we still have to keep on going. We have to believe in ourselves. If we believe in ourselves, we'll find the answer someday. Yeah, that's right. We have a long battle ahead. We should get some sleep. Yeah. It's almost done. Uh, uh? Morning, Tifa. It's almost done. Yeah. Good morning, Cloud. Let's stay like this a little longer, please. We might never get another chance. So let's have this moment. They're not. It's cool, Tifa. You said so yourself last night. Remember? We have each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Let's go. This airship is way too big for just the two of us. It feels so lonely without the others. Don't worry. It'll be okay. I'll make a big enough noise for everyone. Besides, I'm the pilot. No flying around casually like before. We won't have time to feel lonely. Huh? It's moving! Barrett! Sid! Hey! You ready now? Nanaki? Why didn't you say something? Because, uh, Sid. What did I tell you, Red? If we had butted in, she'd have given us hell! You were listening? Vincent! Why so surprised was I not to come? No, it's just you always act so indifferent. Like all this has nothing to do with you. Indifferent. Huh. It is my nature. My apologies if that's the image I project. Well, looky here. Mr. Shinra's back. Um, I wanted to come in person. But I had so much to do today. I've had the people of Midgar take refuge as a precaution. 
You'll just have to make do with this fake body of mine. I guess that's everyone. No, Yuffie's missing. She ain't gonna show. At least she didn't steal our materia again. Guess we gotta be thankful for that. You're horrible. And after I came this far with you, fighting air sickness all the way, I didn't endure that just to watch you guys go home with all the goodies. Welcome back, Yuffie. Gee, Cloud. That's so nice of you. You hit your head or something? Well, whatever. I'll be on standby at my usual place in the passageway. Thanks, everyone. We didn't come back here for your spiky-headed ass. I'm doing this for Marlene. And I guess it's... It's also about... You know... I mean, she ain't here no more. She isn't here, but she left us this chance. We can't let it end like this. Aerith, you were smiling to the end. If we don't do something, that smile will be stuck there forever. Let's all go together. Aerith's prayer. It should have reached the planet, but something got in its way. And now it's trapped. We have to free it. No one's changed their mind, right? I'm counting on you, Sid. <laughs> I've been itching to know what these two lovers do for a while now. Let's try them out. Cloud, do the honors. This is the final battle. Our destination is the Great Crater. Our enemy? Severoth! Let's do this! Almost there. We're coming for you, Sephiroth! You got that right. I'm gonna stick it to him! Sid, what is it? Ah, I can't control it! It's too strong! The hell you guys still do here? I told you to go home to your families! Yes, sir. This is our home, sir. Ah, oh, man. What a bunch of skippy little show-offs. Okay. Have it your way. Now hold me down with everything you've got! Incredible!